Wow, check this out. You know, there's a certain amount of good morning, good afternoon, good evening, y'all. Uh, what's up, family? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house, y'all. I know how we do it. Um, thanks for being out there. I'm gonna do a little housekeeping. Y'all already know how to be in touch with me. Please leave your comments. Shoot me an email at mentalhouse tv at gmail.com again that email is mentalhouse tv at gmail.com and for the grand old prize of five dollars you can join us on patreon it's mental house tv on patreon and um follow us on the content there and uh <laughs> i'm sure you would definitely definitely um enjoy it now with that being said um, I want to make sure y'all understand this privilege right here, this narcissism, this, uh, sort of what you, I would call, mm, let me make sure this, somewhat of a, ooh, uh, a white arrogance, if you will, that, um, you know, like I said, everybody all over the world that have come into contact with these elite have to put up with this um, narcissistic behavior. So this here is the queen wants and Prince Andrew to remain colonel of the Grandier Guards. Despite fears from the military chiefs that accusation against him could embarrass the armed forces. The military chiefs, and they fear that Prince Andrew not performing public duties will embarrass him. Um, Prince Andrew has also kept other honorary commands, including the colonel. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. So this the nerve of these people. I just can't. Prince Andrew will be allowed to stay on as colonel of the Grenadier um Guards, even though he most likely won't return to public duties after the sexual assault accusations emerged against him. The Queen has reportedly announced that she will let her son, the Duke of York, 61, stay on as honorary role despite allegations that he denies. But military chiefs fear that him not being able to perform his public duties will embarrass the forces. Um... Hello, yo, never mind. Stick to the story. How can you have a colonel who can't perform the role? You can't have a colonel who can't produce public, can't do his public duties. Prince Andrew also kept other honorary commands, including colonel of the Royal Highland Fulisers, colonel in chief of the Yorkshire Regiment. A commodore in chief at the Fleet Arm Air Honorary Com uh, Commodore. The move suggests that the monarch is supportive of her son, who stepped back from public duties for the foreseeable future after his friendship with the pedophile Jeffrey Epstein surfaced in 2019. One of Epstein's victims, Virginia. Goofrey, Nia Roberts, 38, has accused Andrew of rape, sexual battery, and sexual assault in a recent lawsuit that she filed this month. She alleges that Epstein forced her to have intercourse with um, Epstein forced her to have intercourse with Ep Andrew three times when she was just 17. Prince Andrew denies the claims but is yet to make public response to the lawsuit. Prosecutors last week said that Andrew had sought to falsely portray himself to the public as eager and willing to cooperate, but had given no interview to the federal authorities and had to be and had been repeatedly declined requests to talk to investigators. There's pictures of the guy with the young lady that he claims he never touched, and there's Giselle in the background. He's got his arm around her. I mean. What more do you want? 
Uh, he said he categorically did not have any sexual contact with her and does not even recall meeting her. There's, I mean, this is the narcissistic crap that these European males get away, get a chance to even, and nobody won't call them out. In fact, the only one that calls them out so far is that I've seen has been, what's her name? Uh, Mary Trump, is that her name? I don't see anybody wanting to see white men be held accountable. Nobody is doing it. This guy is sitting up here with a teenager. Giselle is in the background, whatever her name is. The one that's in jail now. The gopher lady. Uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, is that her name? Yeah. Prince Andrew and Virginia Roberts got his net hand around the girl's waist. He looks like he could be her father. And you, he's trying to convince me that nothing happened between him and his woman. Got pictures of him strolling around with Jeffrey Epstein, the pedophile. And this is in New York Central Park. But yet, we're supposed to believe that he had nothing to do with that stuff. He's innocent. Is that what we how you know, a source told the mail this week that Mr. Scully's account pointed out that by his own recollection, the alleged sighting of Andrew with Mrs. Uh Guffrey might have taken place as late as twenty oh four. Um uh, so by which time she was married and no longer working for Epstein. Epstein died in his jail cell in 2019 after being charged with sex trafficking. Although no one knew of a funeral, nobody saw the body, nobody seen any kind of memorial done to him, brought back to New York for a funeral, but he gone. They're yeah, right. A Buckingham Palace spokesman told the Times that the Grenadiers, um, all of the Duke's military appointments are in abeyance after he stepped back from royal duties for the foreseeable future um, in 2019. And this still remains the situation. That's it. There you go with white privilege and white arrogance. We have Prince Andrew, who has been accused of rape of a 17 year old. Uh, but he's not being brought to justice like Robert Kelly. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying R. Kelly does not need to be punished. I don't want y'all to get it twisted. But what I am saying is the the mis uh management, the unbalanced uh way in that you handle us. It's really starting to be a lot. It ain't, no, it ain't starting. It's been a lot for 400 years. <laughs> I'm sorry. But with that being said, you know, what y'all think? What do y'all think about this Prince Philip thing? Do you think that it should be, Andrew, I'm sorry, it should be talked about? Do you think this guy should be, um, you know, the queen should totally relieve him from duty. We get some investigation going on about him raping this 17-year-old girl? Or do we sweep that under the rug and let these powerful white men get away with any damn thing? They, they, you know, nobody gets exactly what they want all the time. And it's just about time white men stop. All right, I'll see y'all in the next video.